Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and this is Donna Loves Yarn because I do. So I just wanted to pop on here fairly for a fairly quick video. I'm planning on having it fairly quick anyway. Um, I just want to share a few acquisitions with you and um, confirm the three two, truths and a lie from my last video. So that is on the agenda for today. Um, again, I want to welcome all my new subscribers. I want to welcome everybody, but I definitely want to welcome all my new subscribers. I've had quite a few uh, over the last, even just since my last video. And a lot of that is thanks to Stina at My World of Crochet. She did a live a couple of days ago and mentioned my channel. So I think a few of those people that watched, uh, whether they watched live or watched the replay, have come over to my channel. So thank you, Stina, for sending some my way. I, I so appreciate it. I hope that some of mine have found your channel as well. Because we're both in this together, right? Right. Um, okay, so first let me share the results of the three truths and a lie. Um, for, oh, before I do that, I want to apologize to everybody for my last video and all the noise in the background and the thumping on the desk. Um, you know, it was the first video I did sitting at this desk. And I honestly didn't think that the sound would travel at, like it did. And I watched it over and yeah, it was very distracting. So I want to apologize to everybody that mentioned it. And even those that didn't, I will do my very best to keep my hands off the desk. Um, so thank you for, for letting me know. I appreciate it. All right. So the three, three truths and a lie were as follows. If you didn't watch, if you did, you should still go watch. But if you didn't, the first one was, I've been a sourdough baker since 2019. Number two was, I've been crocheting since March of 2022. Number three was, I used to have a yarn store. And number four, I have a preference for natural fibers. Well, I kind of told on myself for number four, because I just went on and on and on. <laughs> about natural fibers. And as you can see, I have mostly natural fibers. So, um, yeah, I kind of told on myself and I probably expounded a little too much on all of them, but particularly that one. So the lie and a few people guessed, um, I didn't get a whole lot of input about it, but the few that did guess you were right for number three, I used to have a yarn store. I thought that was a pretty uh, fair representation of what I have here. It could have very well come from a yarn store. I wish I could say I had a yarn store, but that was the lie. I did not have a yarn store. All of this yarn behind me I bought with my own money. Uh, the majority of it I got at significantly reduced pricing. Um, because I, I hate to pay full price retail for anything, let alone yarn. Very, very seldom do I pay full price for anything or yarn. Very seldom. It has to be something really special for me to pay full price. It's hard for me to do that on anything, whether groceries, uh, dog food, anything. I try to get the best deal I can in any way I can, whatever I get. Um, somebody did guess that I've been with the lie was I've been crocheting since March of 22, but that's true. I, I just started spring of 2022. Um, my first foray into crocheting was buying an Annie's kit club. Um, I told this story already, but, um, yeah, I thought that was a good way to dip my toe in and, you know, it took off from there. So thanks to Annie's Kit Clubs for, for helping me on my journey there. Um, 
I thought I hadn't mentioned, number one, that I've been a sourdough baker, um, but I did look back at some videos and I had mentioned that I made sourdough. So um, for a while there, that was my only source of income. From 2019, when I lost my job, to about 2022, I guess, um, I had an Etsy store, very successful Etsy store, for about a year and a half, two years. It got to be just crazy, busy, and it was very stressful. So um, I put it first, I put it on vacation mode, thinking I'm just going to take a brief hiatus. Well, that vacation mode turned into months and months and months of taking a break. So I just decided, you know, I'm, it just got to be too much way too much um you know the the making of the dough the baking the shipping the shipping was probably the most stressful for me it was just it was daunting so now i rarely make bread if i do i make it for myself um i've i've been a vendor at two markets for the last three to four years um, so I'm kind of getting away from that. This will be the first year um, that I won't be doing a summer market. And that's simply because I can't leave that beast alone. He's, you know, he's a big 80 pound baby. He cannot be left alone. Um, just because he's too anxious. He'd be, uh, that's what he would be doing the whole time. He'd be pacing. <clears throat> and, you know, I, I don't, um, not trust him because he's going to mess in the house because he won't. He's very well house broke. But he may destroy things. And an 80 pound dog can damage a lot of stuff. So I have to be here all the time with him. Or if I leave, I take him with me. And that's very rare. So anyway, all that to say, the sourdough journey has kind of come to its end. I still make bread for myself. Um, I just made a loaf last week for the first time in like a month um, and it turned out really good if I do say so myself um, so that's all I guess I have to say about the three truths and a lie thank you to Shannon at Shannon Talks Yarn uh, for getting that started and I hope more people do it because that's kind of fun that's kind of fun so excuse my hair I, walk, I took a shower last night before I went to bed, and this is what happens when you go to go to sleep on a damp hair, with damp hair. So today I want to share a couple of acquisitions. First of all, uh, who should I thank for this? Well, a couple. Um, Antoinette at Hook, is it Hooking and Stitching Island Style. Hooking and stitching, I believe is what it is. Um, Antoinette, there she showed the Mary Maxim Sock Club bag. Um, and then I searched out other videos that were sharing the same thing. And I can't remember who the other one was um, that got the same yarn she did. I barely took a peek at what I got. And it's not what Antoinette got. It's not the same color. So I'm excited about that. Because I'm not a big fan of blue. Even though you do see blue back here. I'm not a big fan of blue. So here's the, it comes in a bag. It doesn't come in a box anymore, apparently. Well, this is like my second least favorite color. Well, it's got browns in it. I don't, I don't really care for grays, but this is kind of nice. And I have some of this yarn already. Um, it's Mary Maxim Wooly. And uh, this was actually, it's really a good price. $9.99. Uh, it was $14.98 with shipping. So that's a pretty good price for two hanks of, of yarn. And, you know, I don't knit. So this pattern will go to somebody else. I love this bag. This is a great bag. So... 
yeah, knit socks. I may give that to my friend Kelly. Kelly, if you do socks, or if your mother-in-law does socks, here you go. I'll save that for you. So here are the two Hanks. And let's see, compare, because Antoinette's were a little bit different. These do seem a little different. Even though they're the same colorway, um, 210 yards, 70% superwash wool, 30% nylon. This one seems a little darker than this one. And Antoinette had the same experience. One was a darker blue or more blue than another, the one that came with it. And I don't know whether it's just the power of suggestion or what, but it seems like that's the case here. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. But these are grays and browns and creams. So that's nice. I wonder if my other one is handy nearby. Uh, let's see. I think I do this every video. Look around behind me. Uh, I, I'm not seeing it readily, but I do have some of the Mary Maxim. I think it's woolly. I think. Oh, you know what? I think it's in here. I'm not going to go digging for it. Unless I see it right here in front of me. Uh, it's not in there. Oh, here's one. Mary Maxim Silk Merino. I don't even know if they sell that anymore. But I know I've got that. And the other one is a silky merino also. So they weren't the woolly after all. But that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. All right. So I got those from Mary Maxim. And that's a quarterly club. So I'll be getting it again in May, I guess. All right. My next acquisition, I went to... I went out today to pick up some storage cubes. While I was out, I thought I'm gonna stop in at Joann's because I know that they have some more of those Hanks and they were 25% off. So I went over there and sure enough, they had a rolling cart in the middle of the aisle. I don't wanna say full, but had quite a few I don't know why no one's buying this stuff. Why is no one buying it? I mean, it's 100% super wash merino, for God's sake. So they had pretty much the same colors they had the last time I went, which was about two months ago. Um, so I just grabbed a few more. Um, they only had one of this color. This is called Bouquet. Um, or no. No, I got several of this one. They had a bunch of the bouquet. And this is just, I mean, it's so pretty. Look at the speckles. So I think I grabbed four of them. And I already had, I've already got quite a few. And then they only had one of this one. And this is called Wildflowers. I wish they had had more of this. But I got one, so I've got four total up there so that's pretty and um yeah they had some other colors that like the pumpkin spice i have some of those those are right there right there i i'm not a big fan of of orange so i didn't get any more and then while i was there i thought i'm gonna look at the scarfy because I wanted to make, I want to start another poncho of that inlines poncho from Hobie. I'm making two of them and I should have probably brought one in to show you the progress, but I didn't. Um, but anyway, I wanted to look at Scarfy and I wanted to look at, um, the color on my halo. And I know, and then I w happened to walk past the ice cream divigation which I already have this color I'm making a blanket with. 
This is cotton candy. I'm already making a blanket with that. So I happened to see this one and they were $6.99 a piece. This is colorway dots and it's pale green and I guess gray. But I'm going to make another inlines poncho with this. I only got four, so I hope that's enough. Um, each of these is 437 yards. And I looked at the pattern again that uses the alpaca from, from Hobie or even Yarn Art has the alpaca blend. That's a two weight. And it says it takes two. Um, and each cake of those is a thousand yards. So, but that's a, that's a lighter weight yarn, I think, than this. So I'm hoping that, um, almost 1700 yards goes far enough. I should have grabbed a fifth one, but I spent enough as it was. So I got four of these to make another poncho. That's going to be a gorgeous poncho. I love single ply roving. It's my absolute favorite. While I was there, looking in that bin of the Hanks, there was this. All by itself, no tag, no nothing. And it's a Hank. And I smelled it. And it's definitely wool. It's definitely wool. And I thought, I don't remember Joanne's having any other Hanks than these. So I, I put it in my cart because I was going to ask about it. It's, it's quite rough. It's pretty rough. So I took it up to the counter and the woman checking me out, she thought that it was mine and that I just brought it in because she pointed to it and said, oh, that's yours. And it took me a second for that to dawn on me. And I should just, but no, I got to be honest. So I, I told him, I said, it was just sitting back there in that, in that, uh, rolling cart, nothing on it. So she got on her little earpiece and talked to somebody that was back there. I don't know if she was manager or what, but she gave her a code and she put in the code and I saw it on the screen how much she was charging me, the same as for this. And I said, no, 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 no. If that's what you're going to charge me, I don't want it. And so that woman came up to the counter and she started looking through the website. And she pulled up a picture of Lion Brands. Uh, the wool that you can dye. And it's in a hank. I forgot all about that. I didn't even know that, that Joanne's carried that. So that's what it is. It's the, if you want to dye your own, it's the hundred percent wool. It's not super wash. It's, it's quite stiff and kind of scratchy. Um, but that's what it is. And it was only $4 and 35 cents, I believe. So I said, I'll take it. And at first I thought I can make a hat with it. And just as is. But now I'm thinking that maybe I'll try my hand at dyeing it. I mean, it's only $4. And what can go wrong? The worst thing that will happen is it doesn't take the dye. So, um, plus I've got some other worsted wools that feel like this that I could use it with as well. So, I'll do one or the other. I'll either leave it and make a hat, combine it with you know, another, another wool, um, for that, or I'll try to, I'll take, I'll, uh, try my hand at dyeing. I know I have some, some powdered, uh, food dyes and people use Kool-Aid, but I need to do some research on the best way to dye wool and we'll go from there. But that was $4. I can't remember what the regular price is, but I don't know. So I got that. Um, so that was my acquisitions for today. 
And uh, I don't think there was anything else I was going to say. Um, yeah, I think that was it. I'm still working on the two ponchos. I've, since I talked to you last, I've started two other projects. One I started and it, I didn't do anything more with. It's going to be um, a cowl, a long cowl. Um, and then uh, I started a shawl using um, two different colors of Malabrigo. Actually, I have a picture of it and I will post it here. And it's using the star stitch combo that Crystal at Bago Day showed here just recently. So I thought I've got a lot of that uh, one color. It's a pale yellow. And then I have, um, well, you'll see the picture. A really pretty, uh, like a variegated pink. It's called Rosalinda that I'm going to use for just the star stitch section. I think it's going to be beautiful. Like I said, I love single ply yarns and the Malabrigo Silky Merino is tops of my list for that. Um, I'm waiting on an order from Aberdeen's Wool. Actually, two orders. The first one I placed was the 50 Micro Minis. And I placed that 10 days ago. I emailed them today because on their confirmation email, it says they do their best to get it shipped within three to five business days. Well, it's been seven. Um, so that was that one. And then I ordered four mystery bags. I hope I don't regret it. Four mystery bags. And that I ordered five days ago. So neither one has shipped so far. I was hoping it would have shipped, the first one would have shipped by yesterday, but it has not. So we'll see how long that takes. And this was a, a point of contention with the first order I got. I stated how, how long it took for them to ship it. I can't remember how long it took to get to me once it shipped, but I think it took equally long. So we'll see when that comes. Hopefully it comes next week, but you know, I'm not going to hold my breath. I actually thought about calling to see if I can cancel it, but we'll see if I do that. But I'm happy with my Mary Maxim. Hanks. That's pretty cool. Um, I didn't show. That's like a two weight, I think. It's not that thin. Uh, made in Turkey. So I'm glad I have those. That's cool. That'll be fun to get every, every three months. That'll be fun. And then, you know, these added to my collection. <laughs> those two top, those top two cubes are nothing but KNC. 100%. Super wash. I got to start making stuff with them, but I got to start finishing stuff. So thank you everybody for joining me today. Um, I hope this was a little bit better with me leaving my hands off the desk. And uh, yeah, so I think that's all I have. So take care. Thank you again for, for joining me. Um, I hope to see you again. And I look forward to your comments. And uh, yeah, tell all your friends. Tell all your yarny friends about my channel. I'm just a laid back channel. You know, I'm, I'm probably never going to have high production value. <laughs> You know, I don't even know how to put in an intro and an outro. So we'll see if I can manage to figure that out one of these days. But for now, you're lucky to get a picture. Because um, I do all the editing on my phone. So with all that, again, 
I ramble. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, great evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, remember, God loves you. His son, Jesus, loves you. And they are the way, the truth, and the life, for sure. I love you all for joining me. Uh, I hope you have a happy crochet or knit day, whatever yarn art you do. And I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.